just missed that, and that was because we didn't have the, um, the doors open, so this is going to cost us a little bit. G'day and welcome back to uh, Bomber Crew and in this episode we are going to complete or we're going to try and attempt Operation Chariot. Okay so let's just uh, quickly look over our, uh, our crew from our last episode. So we've still got the same team and they're still uh, there. So Riley, Gibson, Ferguson, King, Kerr, Smith and McKay all sitting there happy in their black overalls ready to go. Um, the aircraft, the original aircraft, the runner duck. Um, so the setup that I have for this is Mark II engines at the moment. I know I've still got some uh, currency at the moment, but I just don't want to spend it in case we have an accident. Tail gun, I've got a, a feed on the tail gun. And literally uh, Mark I on the, the belly gun. Uh, on the top gun we've got a Mark II and a nose gun and a Mark I. Um, let's go for the briefing. Straight into it. Operation Chariot. So here we go. We'll be supporting a daring commando raid for impenetrable U-boat base. Uh, they will ram the base and sink it and sink packed with explosives before disembarking and detonating the charges. It will be quite a show. Okay, so this is the first of the campaign missions which will allow you to uh, progress through the uh, single player uh, campaign. So are we ready? All right, buckle in and let's go. Excellent, it's raining. Um, handy little tip that uh, someone told me when I was streaming is obviously they start off with only two lots of ammo. You can actually go down at the beginning and just get another ammo, which will um, resupply them for a, uh, an early ammo. So thank you for that, uh, that tip. And the second one I'm going to do is because there's a, a break bar here, so I'm just going to get the engineer to grab the ammo. When it stops, the ammo will disappear. So if McKay needs ammo, he doesn't have to go as far now to get his, his ammo. But without any further ado, let's take off. I'm just going to go lean to start off with, make sure we can serve the fuel. Lovely English day. So generally the campaign missions are, are more challenging um, and we'll see how this one goes. Okay, welcome back, and there we go. So there's our rendezvous point just on the edge of uh, uh, the land there. So we're just going to head over and rendezvous with the ship that we need to give it secure passage as it heads into a German port. Uh, the ship is packed with explosives, so we need to protect it from uh, whatever elements are going to come and, and attack. <laughs> There we go. All right, so we now need to protect it from the uh, the U-boats to stop it from actually being uh, hit. And we've now got some enemy aircraft coming in, so let's get the gunners up, ready. 
by state put on top. Um, but we're not home safe here, so we still need to. And what I've found with these missions is that's normally the um, the going home that can be a little bit costly. So we're actually going to just go up to a high altitude to try and dodge some of this flak and this. Gonna watch the cold weather as we head. Okay, so there we are, heading home. We bring it back down to a medium temperature as we're dropping in uh, cold weather there. Okay, it's gonna drop down to the belly gun. And let's have a look at what we've got. So we're just coming out of the flak area now, so I'm comfortable that we're okay. Fuel is quite good, so we might even give it a little bit of a boost. Since we saved on the fuel, it just doesn't take us home. But we just lost a little bit of our wing. We've got a couple of aircraft there that haven't been tagged, so we'll just make sure we tag them. We'll get a bit of focus on our gunners, just so we can take out these aircraft that are trying to tail us. That is it. Okay, so we're on track to come into England. I think we may be home safe. So we did actually lose a little bit of a wing. Um, no major injuries. We're going to bring McKay back up to the top as we're coming in. So far, everything is okay. The engines are a little bit on the heated side, but we're good. So we're going to now bring it down to a lower level, and that will help the navigator then actually sort of... Um, identify a new navigation point and we may even be able to, no we're okay, once we get in under this clear of cover we should be able to, to come back home. Just see the coast of England coming in now. It just should be to our slight right. We're getting low on fuel, but I'm not concerned about the, uh, the fuel at the moment. And there's our navigation waypoint. <laughs> So we'll just turn in, and that will bring us into our um, our pad. All right, we'll speed it up from here until we come into the land, and then we'll do the final check on uh, how we went and the score we got. And that's uh, Operation Chariot. All right, we'll see you as we land. for the landing uh, after our mission and as you can see we've um, as much as we were unscathed and we survived the mission we did take some hits so our rear gunner and our top gunner um, definitely were hurting so we're going to look at uh, maybe putting extra armor on going forward just to protect those two the rest of them in the forward end um, seem to be okay um, so that's probably the next part of our mission so mission success operation chariot we've now gone up another one in the um, 
campaign progress and we've been able to complete the mission and return back to the base safely. So let's just do a quick recap and a check on to see how they're progressing. Now these were done un, uh, obviously at level 5. Uh, so that obviously also lets you know uh, when it would be suitable uh, to actually do the mission yourself. Increase the first aid. Plus we've got extra armoured engines Mark II and we've got a land survival vest Mark II and we've got a blue beret for um, uh, that. But also we've got plimsolls. Um, plimsolls, just to finish off, are actually quite good for your engineer. Um, and I'm just going to show it while we've got it here because I am going to buy uh, Gibson the plimsolls. And the plimsolls actually add 30% to his speed. So it's very handy for the engineer who's always racing around trying to fix things. Um, yes, it does reduce a little bit of his armour and, and survivability in regards to temperature. Um, but you can always do things such as, um, uh, let's say, put some mittens on him and things like that. So, But uh, it does boost up his speed and it's very noticeable. So I always put a pair of slippers on my engineer just so he can actually run around. So uh, thank you very much. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. That was Operation uh, Chariot. Um, and we successfully went out and, and come back. I uh, hope you've been liking the uh, the episode. I've really had some really good feedback on uh, uh, on the episodes as well as why I stream live. Um, don't forget to hit the, the like button, hit the subscribe, and I look forward to continuing through the campaign uh, to show you the completed series of Bomber Crew. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next episode.